Hey everyone, Tragic MTG here again with uh, Packbot, the pack dispensing robot, to help me open up some randomized, 100% randomized booster packs. Uh, I had someone in a previous video upset. He thought that um, maybe the packs were not completely randomized by my robot here. He was wrong, absolutely wrong. These are 100% uh, robot approved packs. Never seen before by me. Wow. I'm shocked to see this Scars of Mirrodin pack right now. Um, and hopefully we're shocked by how good the rare will be inside of this. Let's take a look. Thanks for joining me today. And uh, Packbot, of course. Let's go through some Scars of Mirrodin. Go through the commons a little bit. As I've said before, I still like to look at commons. I don't have to call out every name. But a Tumble Magnet. It's neat, right? I'll do the uncommons. Trigon of Corruption, Razor Hippogriff, Tangle Angler, and the rare, that's a pretty good rare. It's actually a mythic. Skitherix the Blight Dragon is pretty awesome of a first hit from this Scars of Mirrodin pack. Already off to a good start here. Cool. What else you got for me, Packbot? Oop. Not two at once. Let's get this pack of weather light. Again, a shock. Did not know this was going to be in here at all. Okay, so weather light packs going way back to 1997. Hmm, is the rare the third one in? I think it might be. Let's see here. So we're going to do it this way and take a shot at putting the rare on the top with the uncommons. And we'll start over from the other side. Talarian Drake. Is that a common? Oh, I forgot. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a new thing. I'm going to start scanning as I go. See, this is all new for me, too. I'm going to scan my Skitherix right off the bat and let you know that that's a $31 card right there. Um, one thumbs up for Skitherix. Um, so let's, let's continue on. Talarian Drake, Angelic Renewal, Sage Owl. These are all commons, right? So did it right the uncommons will be at the back wow remember flanking not me barely all right coils of the medusa abjure the armor okay so here's the uncommon circling vultures phantom warrior rock hatchling and the rare bubble matrix not bad at all that's a reserve list card Pay four for an artifact. All damage dealt to creatures is reduced to zero. Let's scan that one up. 417 for a reserve list rare from Weatherlight. Not bad. I don't know if you saw this before. I'm sure you could go back and pause and look, but Skitherix is three and two black for a legendary creature. Dragon Skeleton. It's flying 4-4 four, four with infect. You can pay blue, or I'm sorry, black. Skitherix, the Blight Dragon gains haste until end of turn. Or pay two black to regenerate Skitherix. It's pretty good. So, there you go. Back to packs. Avacyn Restored. Another one of my favorite sets. This is one of the sets that when I got back into Magic for the second time was just coming out. So, I'm fond of this set. Can we pull something good out of there? That's, that's two good hits in a row. Can we go for three? Love the flavor of the Innistrad setting. And cards like Favorable Winds are pretty helpful. Homicidal Seclusion, Archangel, Lone Revenant. Not a big hit. Let's scan it. 13 cents. So well, that's the commander version. We're not going to really change that, I don't think. For three and two blue, you get a spirit creature, 4-4, four, four, hexproof. Whenever Lone Revenant deals combat damage to a player, if you control no other creatures, look at the top four cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Probably doesn't see any play in the spirits deck, right? Ooh, let's see. Ah, get the fat packs, right? Good stuff. Okay. Next pack. Return to Ravnica. Right after Avacyn restored. 
So this was a, a fun standard to play in. Uh, Innistrad block, Ra Return to Ravnica block. A lot, of, a lot of fun stuff going on at that time. Goblin Electromancer, um, currently in standard. Uh, that's a good addition to Blue Red deck. Guild Gates. The Aquas Steed. Goblin Ooze. Blood Fray Giant and Azor's Elocutors. This is kind of the precursor to Persistent Petitioners. Pay three and either white or blue times two. Uh, it's a three five human advisor. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a filibuster counter on Azor's Elocutors. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> then if Azor's Elocutors, am I saying that right? It feels like I'm saying that wrong has five or more filibuster counters on it, you win the game. Whenever a source deals damage to you, remove a filibuster counter from Azor's Elocutors. This one probably didn't see much play ever, as evidenced by the price. Rhino token. All right. Moving right along. What is it going to be? Guild Pact. More Ravnica plain fun stuff here. So I was not playing Magic at this time, so I'm not super familiar with all the cards in this set. Um, I am building a Ravnica themed cube, and you know, cards with flavor from the guilds is going to go in there. I'm not sure if I really need anything much more out of Guild Pact. I know I need a Dark Confidant. Probably not going to see one of those out of any of these packs. Vacuum Melt, Caustic Rain, Feral Animist, and a Moratorium Stone. I'm not familiar with this. Pay one for an artifact. Uh, pay two and tap it to remove target card and a graveyard from the game. Pay two, a white and a black, and tap it. Sacrifice Moratorium Stone. Remove from the game target non-land card in a graveyard. All of the cards in that in graveyards with the same name as that card and all permanents with that name. Hmm. <laughs> Not going to catch a whole lot with that effect, I don't imagine. No, that's not a big one. Oh, look, got to catch up here. 16 cents for Moratorium Stone. All right, next up, what do we got? Champions of Kamigawa, another set that I was not playing at the time. Um, I know like Azusa is in this set, so that would be great um, if we can get it open here. Let's see uncontrollable anger I try to control it right thought bind the cursed Ronin stone rain the classic Matsy tribe decoy I'm not seeing any good commons and uncommons there might be some in there Sora Tommy seer thousand legged Kami Ben Ben Aki Hermit is the rare. Okay, and we got a foil uncommon struggle for sanity, so let's do this. Ben Ben Aki Hermit is two and two red. Legendary Goblin Shaman, one one. Tap Ben Ben Aki Hermit and deal damage to target attacking creature equal to the number of untapped mountains you control. Hmm, not sure. Is it going to rate? No, not really. And let's see, struggle for sanity. Target opponent reveals his or her hand. That player sets aside a card from it. Yada, yada, yada. Not sure about that one. Let's scan it. Probably not going to do much more as a foil. 48 cents as a foil, but we'll put it right here. Thanks for sticking with me while I slowly go through cards. I know everybody likes to watch channels just bust open packs so fast. I'm just taking my time. Oh, yeah, Journey to Nyx. You saw that, right? Um, I kind of got back out of magic after the ra return to Ravnica block, so didn't get to play with these much. Aspect, Mortal, Kyora's Dismissal, Armory of Iroas, Swarmborn Giant, and Silence the Believers for two and two black. Instant has Strive. Silence the Believers cost two and a black more to cast for each target beyond the first okay exile any number of target creatures and all 
are as attached to them. It's kind of a big cost to catch two or more of these. 20 cents for Silence the Believers. Not a big one. Okay, what else we got? Cold Snap. Can we get a Dark Depths? Actually, there's some uh, cards that have been coming up in this set, like Arkham Daxon. So I'll be looking out for that too. Zombie Musher. Musher, that's great. It's got Snow Landwalk. You can regenerate it. Costs a bit much there. The Blood Painter. Squall Drifter, that's pretty cool art. Snow Covered Mountain. We'll pull that one. We'll even scan it. Bing 278. Of course, they just got reprinted, but still, still decent. Ice Fall, Kravakin Mist, Uncommon Stocking Yeti, Arctic Nishoba, Vanished into Memory. We do have a foil right there, and a Rhyme Feather Owl is not going to be much for five and two blue. Uh, flying Rhyme Feathers Owl, Rhyme Feather Owl's power and toughness are each equal to the number of snow permanents in play. You pay one in the snow, put an ice counter on target permanent. Permanent with ice counters on them are snow. Hmm. I don't know. And then the foil is a surging might. 36 cents for this guy. And I'm sure that's not going to be much of anything, even as a foil. Take it out of the list. Okay, last pack here. It's a good one. Zendikar. We got one great card. One good card. And not much else. Can we get something great out of this Zendikar pack? That'd be fantastic. Berserker. Adventuring Gear. The Cell Sword. Crypt Ripper. Spider Soap Net. Okay, Uncommons, Goblin Ruin Blaster, Baloth Cage Trap, Quest for Pure Flame, ooh, and an Eldrazi Monument, so there's a second Mythic at least, and a Full Art, and that uh, Vampire Token might even be a little bit. Eldrazi Monument pay is 5 for an artifact, Con creatures you control get 1-1, one, one, have flying, and are indestructible, solid. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature if you can't. Sacrifice Eldrazi Monument. Excellent. And um, it's a $9 Mythic card. That's a different edition. Let's actually change that to the Zendikar version. A little bit more. 1041. And my Full Art Mountain is not a whole lot more. This Vampire Token. I knew it. It's actually a buck. We'll keep that one. So there you have it. Off of all those packs. Probably didn't get my money back, but had a lot of fun. I actually got a couple of good things out of it for a change. So that's encouraging. Um, make sure I'll do more of these in the future. If you enjoyed them, let me know down below. Comment, like, subscribe, share, do a dance, whatever you want. Thanks for stopping by.